No matter what a man does for a modern woman, it's never enough or appreciated. When will you men learn that women only care about themselves and not about you? And that will always be the case. Even your female relatives will look down on you and use you for what you can give them. You can't do or say anything to make them treat you better. I've seen daughters treat their fathers like crap and refuse to do the bare minimum to show care and appreciation to the man who gives them a place to live and food to eat. So when I see things like that, and based on my own experiences and those of my family, I know for sure that women outside of my family won't treat me well or respect me. And that's the way things are. Most women don't care about men. That's the truth. I know that's not what you guys want to hear. And you want to believe that you'll find a woman who will love and appreciate you for what you give her. But you won't understand that. At best. You'll only have that for a short time. So that's all. When I watched a video of a couple from another country, I realized that men have been treated badly for so long that they don't even know what good treatment looks like. The woman cut the man's nails, massaged him, brought him food without him asking, did housework without him complaining, and generally treated him like a good person. When I looked at the comments on the videos, the men were so shocked that they could not believe what they were seeing. That's when I realized that most women don't care about their men because most men don't get treated like that by their wives. I can say that's true. After all I did for them, no woman has ever treated me even close to that well. So I've seen enough modern women treat other men and me badly or do the bare minimum to realize that nothing is going to change. They don't care because, in their minds, treating a man well is a sign of weakness. They think it shows weakness to cook for a man and bring him his food. That's where we are, so we have to deal with it. I really don't understand why men stay with women they pay 50% or more of their bills for and put up with bad treatment from her. I'd rather jump off a bridge than spend my money on a leech that's just taking up space in my crib. At that point, I should just live by myself, which is what I'm doing now. I do what I tell you to do, guys, and I live by myself. And when I wake up, I don't have to listen to these modern women's nagging, complaining, and bad attitudes. I can't hear or see anything when I wake up, which is one of the best feelings in the world. I don't have to support a woman or she'll leave me, so I don't have to be on my again if I don't want to. I don't have to put up with rudeness in my own home. I don't have to waste money on useless stuff. You guys are missing out on a lot in your relationship, and you don't even know it. It's not like I'll find a woman who will listen and only talk when asked. I won't find a woman who won't complain about washing, cooking, cleaning, and taking care of me well. I'll never find a woman who will never leave me or cheat on me. And I'll find a woman who appreciates what I did for her and gives me regular access to her body without any duty or pity romance in exchange. I'm sure I won't get what I want. So why would I ever do it again? Why would I leave a good situation and let chaos and drama take over my life? Heck no. I'm staying single. And if I have to go eat shrimp to satisfy my cravings because nobody wants me, so be it. At least I'll be able to wake up to peace and quiet every day. Can you guess what I hear as I type this? Not a single thing. Don't bug me or try to fish in my ears. This is what more men need in their lives instead of dating self-centered and spoiled x-axis. Guys, the sooner you realize this is true and accept that women don't care about you, the sooner you can decide to stay single and get on with your lives. I'm sure that somewhere in the world, in the mountains or a small village by itself, some men have women who love them and treat them well because they do. Most of us will never understand that though, and you have to accept that as the hard truth. Some modern women can't even cook, and their homes and cars look like pig pens. What can you get from these women? Tell me what these modern women can do for you please. Most of them only know how to write your digging stick, which most of them can't do very well. I can't wait for a ninja of anecdotal evidence to come in here and tell me how well his girlfriend treats him. I don't want to be wrong about what I'm saying. Well, sir, what you've been through isn't like what most men go through. So sit down and keep your mouth shut. I hate it when people talk as if nothing we experience is real because they had a different experience. Men. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers. Just 20 more of you need to go and sign up. So I'll put a link to the channel in the description and pin a comment with the link to it. 
So if you want to help me reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers before December, you can sign up. I really like all of you. Speaking of experiences, I have an article that shows how modern women are past the point of saving, which shows you that they don't care about you. It all comes down to what you can give. The title of this article by NSN is How Much Money Do You Make? Woman Makes Man Feel Bad for Taking Her on a First Date to Applebee's. Brothers, I told you to stop going out together, but it looks like you don't want to listen. So when BS like this happens, you just have to toughen up and hold that line. Ladies, stop dating these guys. Men don't deserve it. Let's start reading the piece. A man on TikTok filmed a conversation he had with a woman on a date, where the woman seems to make fun of him for going to Applebee's. How much do you get paid? Asked the woman at the start of the video. I don't want to seem like I care about things like money, but I want to tell you right away that I don't date broke boys. It's not that I'm a gold digger or anything like that. The man says that he has enough cash. You just took me to Applebee's. I know that. I get it. Maybe you don't want to take me to the most expensive place like on the first day. No more though. Are you going to take me again? She goes on. Applebee's isn't good enough. You guys got this because you didn't listen. Now, let's look at this with a clear head and figure out who's wrong. He decided to go out with a random stranger, and he's not dumb enough to spend hundreds of dollars feeding a stranger who has no reason to give him anything. This stranger said he would go out with her. When she saw where she was, she could tell what she was getting. She started to throw a fit and bish moan, complain, and talk badly about the guy who carried her there because she had paid someone else to take her there. This woman thinks that she is more valuable than Applebee's. So she's telling him what she really thinks and implying that he's a dirtbag for taking her to a regular restaurant and guessing. Now I can't say that the man did the wrong thing, because you shouldn't spend a lot of money on a date with a stranger. That's stupid. Why would you give a stranger a gift if all they did was show up? But it shows how crazy women in our society are when they think a normal date is beneath them. Now if he had told her a few times that she was good to him, he would have had no problem taking her out to a fancy dinner. To help us, please watch this video. Please subscribe and send this video to anybody you think will benefit from it the most.